Hey guys, Rock and Roll Roll here with some more of the Z League, and once again we are with Son Santana, this time against Fancy Footwork, who was the uh, latest addition to the tournament, taking us up to the 7 strong. And Santana leading off with his double margin deck against a very heavy hitting team from uh, Fancy over there. I quite like that. That's you got the D French from the Gogeta and the Whis, and then you've got three, well, two heavy hitters, and then UI Goku, which is sort of like a midway point. So okay, this could be quite nasty. I think that's the right setup because I'm guessing he's anticipating a double up down the middle. Didn't get it. Kefla and Goku on that flank. So he was. Oh, I'm quite interested. Uh, I'm not sure what he was uh, going for, really, because there wasn't like a Vados there to hit. Well, he's easily outsped him, so Gogeta should die here. But Videl number one is definitely dead. Because <laughs> just Kefler or uh, Goku will be enough. I think Gogeta will die? Yeah, Gogeta is dead. Interesting first turn. I wasn't sure what to expect. I've never actually um, played Fancy Footwork before. So, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what he can do. It's quite an interesting deck he's brought to the table. Honestly, I'd have th Oh, that counter-attack has really uh, put a spanner in works. I'd have thought... He'd have thrown the Whis down with Godku behind and then Gogeta down the middle. Make the most of his defense and buff a bit with uh, Goku, but... That's not good, because that's buffing up Kid Buu as well. And he just gets one Videl in return. So, much better turn for uh, Santana, who can... I think I'd put the trunks down, in all honesty. He could then just leave the flank open if he wanted to. Or is he going to risk that anyway? Yeah, he's going for it, okay. I was uh, envisioning going with the trunks down the middle and putting his uh, boo up to the left, but he went for his double boo, so... To be fair, he's going to do a lot of damage. I'm not sure if he'll out-damage uh, Fancy, though, because that's a god coup that's going to be hitting him direct. I think it'll come down to, as well, is if he can get a counter-attack on that uh, UI Goku and kill him. <laughs> the, uh, the doubles gods are looking quite favorably on Santana at the minute. He's uh, getting a fair few of them. Not that he needs them. A lot of the time. <laughs> Ow. Okay, so that's... That's kind of proven my theory wrong about going with the future uh, trunks because basically he's now... He's got it won. Well, then this could be interesting. He's not going to get the kill. He got another counter-attack. Oh, my God. I feel a bit sorry for Fancy here, because that's three counter-attacks. Each one, as well, increasingly more punishing, really, when you think about it. The Videl one didn't matter too much. Kid Boo kind of hurt. The second Boo really hurt, because it weakened uh, UI Goku. Be interested to see how much Godku does here. I'm expecting to see 10k pop up here. 8-5, okay. And he didn't get the counter. I think um, the gods of Hero Coliseum are really rooting for um, Santana to win this one. Be interested to see what... Uh Fancy does here. He's got to put that something down the middle. But if he does, that something dies. So 
It's a hard call. And he can only put one thing down there, because if he puts two, then Boo doubles off on them. Out of all the options, that was probably his best. It wasn't it wasn't easy. Whatever went there was gonna die. I think he's basically gambling on getting a counterattack with his god coup. Because if he does that, he could pull off uh, quite an upset here. Because it will be an upset. Son Santana is one of the top players for this, so I know his uh, sort of. I know how good he is, and that everybody's really looking to to beat him in this. All right. Well. Oh. Ho, ho. That was where San Santana needed that counter-attack. If he'd gotten that there, that would have been GG now. This could be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. It comes down to a counter-attack right here. Oh, no, not even a counter, because, of course, the trunks is down. And <laughs> if he'd have gotten a counter with his gold coup on both turns... Then Fancy would have won. But the uh, counter attack gods didn't uh, want him to win, I guess. So. <laughs> and he's going to leave it to Kid Boo to finish it as well. Because Videl won't have quite enough in the tank to, uh, to kill the master without a counter. Really? He gets the spirit bomb as well. Oh, man, I feel bad for Fancy. He played that really well. Fancy played really well there. I'm impressed. Like I said, I haven't um, played him before, to my knowledge, so this is my first uh, time seeing what he can do, and I am impressed. Fused Freezer is his character name. How much are you going to do with this, then, Santana? Eight? Seven, four. Okay. Right, that was game one. Well played to both players. Santana taking yet another victory. Um, we'll now uh, shift over on to game number two. All right, here we are with match number two. So Santana took the first match, adding to his already impressive points haul. Can Fancy Footwork get a bit of revenge and win it this time? That is a very, very aggressive deck, and it uses a mirror. I like that. I like the addition of that mirror. With Sun Santana running his uh, double go tanks deck, which I actually um, watched recently in a battle against Edge, and that was it. Was pretty good. It was pretty good. I won't spoil the uh, result of that if you haven't watched it, but it was a good, uh, good battle between two top players. So, right, I'm going to assume maybe double god coup mirror, single god coup mirror and Vegito. Okay. Ooh, this is not good for um, for fancy. Because uh, Fancy's figures are locked in place ne next turn, which means that basically Santana can throw down the UI Goku and the damage Gotenks down the middle and, well, win. Admittedly, he will... Will he lose his 18? Yes, he will lose his 18, so he will lose his fast figure, but... You've always got to be so careful when your opponent has a swimsuit 18 because if you leave a, a lane open, then you're asking for trouble. He might have been better off had um, Goku actually died. That's some okay damage from a an SR figure that's there more for his speed than anything else.
I think this has already got the uh, the ending written. Oh, he's done quite a bit of damage with those two. The thing is, Santana only just won the speed tie this turn. Which means it's very likely that um, Fancy will win it this turn. Since uh, he's going to have lost about 3,000 speed. Yeah, this is... Uh, that's GG right there. I don't think there's anything that um, Fancy can do to stop that. Because Mira is going to go first and he can't kill Gotenks. Gotenks and Videl will die, but this should be enough for Santana to win. Although he may have to rely on a counter-attack, so it's not, uh, not guaranteed. Not yet. But I'd say he's played that as well as uh, well as he uh, could have possibly done. He actually outsped. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, oh, GG. <laughs> I was kind of hopeful for a second there that uh, he wouldn't have got that counter attack because that could have been. That could have been interesting, but that uh, first turn swims to 18, put the paid to that. Well, Santana picking up another win. His second one seems to be so much quicker than that. It's funny. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed another episode of the Z League. If you have, please uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you're not ready for more Hero Coliseum videos. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get a notification when I upload. And I'll see you all next time. <laughs>